right here we are very challenging hole here we're going to put a titan ball on mostly for the range for the second shot this is definitely probably the hardest definitely the hardest hole in this entire set so this is the one that you want to avoid the mistake definitely don't want to make a mistake here but this is the easiest hole to make a mistake on so you want to be very careful Not very many people are going to get this eagle in rookie, especially true rookies. So people who are true rookies are even more So what I'll try to do is land right around here and with some curl. You can see I'm going to use, you know, use my full my full spin here. Also going to just bend it around the tree. That's going to provide that angle and something that uh, Extra Mile just isn't capable of doing. So extra Mile won't be able to bend it that much. So it's a little, you know, you got to kind of change the way that you play it. It's much better to play this with quarterback as any quarterback will be able to get the ball up to the top of that fairway there. When it clips the tree now it's going to be you know much farther behind it's almost you know it's smarter not to play around those trees better to uh, you know bend it as opposed to go and play it like that so what i'll typically do here is a little bit of backspin so you can see with how i'm trying to aim Maybe just a little bit of curl as well so pretty much i just kind of aim away from the hole. All I'm trying to do is get this over here, make sure that it's into the green or into the fringe on the right of the cup. I'll never go at the pin. What this allows me to do is if I catch a great ball to the left, you know, I, hopefully it'll go more at the hole and hopefully stay out of this bunker. So that's what playing intentionally to the right allows you to do. Now my opponent shot here is going to require some luck, some skill and some luck. Because anytime you have to land that far back on the fairway, it's a much tougher hole. So again, you know, just to reiterate here, much better to play this one safe, not do anything too risky. Just kind of play it over into the right half of this fairway. And that should allow, hopefully, for great balls to kind of still keep you on the fringe or up on this fairway, as opposed to, you know, if you try to play it aggressive here, that means that a great ball goes in this sand. There's almost no... I've, there's almost no time that I've ever seen somebody great ball left and not be in this uh, bunker if they shoot at the hole. But when you shoot out to the right here, what it typically allows you to do is it almost takes it more in line with the hole. And you may be able to salvage it. Similarly, with a great ball off to the right, it'll just kind of roll down this fairway a lot of times.
So there you have it, and there's our qualifier. You can see we get the 13 under qualifier well in position um, with quite a few chances. As you can see, we were very close on quite a few shots. So something that, you know, we'll try to hone in on. Um, I do, you know, professionally speaking, um, I'm looking at 26, possibly 27. You know, if you get to that 27 number, I feel really confident that it's going to produce a win. So, um, especially in a rookie, rookie division. So if you are a true rookie account, never up into the pro, kind of like me, um, you're going to be in, you know, brackets with guys with, you know, similar clubs. And, um, you know, I do expect 26, 27 to, you know, especially if you have the tiebreaker. So if I get a 13, a 26, and a 26, I feel pretty good that, that at the very least, you know, maybe somebody has a really exceptional round. They beat you on the weekend um, by a stroke. But if you can get to that 27, you know, I feel really confident that, you know, 27 will definitely be a winning score for a rookie rookie. Um, that's not to say, you know, if you're, if for whatever reason you've ever been to expert or pro and you want to attempt rookie, I don't ask me why you would ever want to do that. It doesn't make any sense. The prizes just aren't worth it. You know, we barely get any balls. And in terms of the clubs, we can't get anything usable. So when we're talking about the clubs here, the only thing that we can get is the top, the top clubs for every section. So Big Topper's the best club that I can get. Big Dog's the best club that I can get. Goliath is the best club that I can get here, and so forth. There's nothing on the bottom that I can ever win in Rookie. That's one of the biggest reasons to move on and something that I'm working on. You can see that I'm in Rookie 3, and I'm going to try to make sure that I promote into Pro. So next tournament that comes around, we can start playing for the better rewards and hopefully take our game to the next level so good luck out there guys and i will see you guys next time